This is the culture that we love to use for bel pernol. It's a mesophilic culture that gives a lot of creaminess to your cheese. You can use other types of mesophilic culture as well, including a yogurt culture. But this is what we're using today. We have approximately three to four gallons of milk in our pot right now. So we only need a smidgen of culture because our milk is raw and raw goat milk has quite a bit of mesophilic culture in it already. So we're gonna put about this much in here. It's very important with your freeze dried culture to sprinkle it over the milk and just let it sit for about a minute before stirring it in. Um, we use just a little tiny bit of rennet per gallon of milk, diluted in cold water. Brienne has put the culture in here and we are going to stir the rennet mixed with the cold water in with the culture that she put in before. Stir it for 20 to 30 seconds. The milk has come out of the goats about 92 Fahrenheit. By the time it's come inside, it's about 85 to 90 Fahrenheit. So we are going to put the lid on and we're going to leave it till tomorrow morning for about 12 to 14 hours. Wash those and you can wash that. It has coagulated and acidified, and that the acid is mostly what has made it thick. So you want the whey to have separated from the curd, and to confirm that, you can just stick your spoon in there and see that, ooh, lovely curd, and it's delicious. So always taste your curd as well to make sure that it doesn't taste cottagey or something. You want it to have a sweet lactic taste. Mm. It's very, very good. If you happen to not be able to do it in 12 hours, you would also be able to leave this in here for another 12 hours. 24 hours would be totally fine. So now we're gonna take it and we're going to hang the cheese. So before scooping the curd out, it's easiest to just pour the whey out and then you're not dealing with so much liquid. bread maker you should take that way and make bread with it or put it in your sourdough pancakes or into your baking it's also very useful to use again if you want to make another batch of this cheese take about half a cup of this and add it to your milk and it will make identical cheese as what you have here so what we're gonna do now is salt this cheese and then we're gonna hang it again the salt will help to take out any more whey Beautiful, beautiful curd. We'll give it a taste as well as a smell. It should smell sweet and lactic. You shouldn't have any cottage cheesy or uh, yucky smell. It should smell very sweet and taste very good. Kind of like a creamy yogurt. Okay, now we're gonna take some salt, half a tablespoon or so. Tie it and rehang it for another 12 hours. Mum and I are going to pick garlic from the garlic patch for our bell for uh, 
mixing up some of the dirt and it's actually quite compacted because we've had about six to seven weeks of lots of rain. There we go. Pretty muddy. Beautiful roots. Here is one of the scapes. The quickest way that we have found to crush our garlic is to clean them, keep them whole, and into the Vitamix. And then we're going to mix cheese with the garlic, and then we're going to blend it. Make sure that there's no dirt on your garlics because anything that's not clean will cause issues in your cheese later. Since the cheese was salted yesterday morning, this is how much whey has come out of our cheese. Now we're going to take just a little bit of the cheese and mix it with the garlics so that we can make a garlic cheese paste that we will add to the remainder of our cheese. So we put a lot of garlic in. If you don't like your cheese as garlicky, you don't need to put as much or more. If you like it, like fire. It's all by taste and feel. We're adding salt to taste. Generally, cheese is done well with about 2% salt. You want to mix it so it's really creamy, like cream cheese. At this stage of the cheese, you would be able to make a few different types of cheeses. First off, you would be able to make dream cheese by just making little balls and then rolling it in Italiano spice and then putting it in a jar of olive oil and letting it sit for a year or more. The other thing that you could do is just make a nice spread that you add any kind of spice to and then put it on your crackers or on your bread, your sourdough bread. But we are going to turn this cheese dough into bel granol today. Bel granol, here we go! Now we're going to make our bel granol balls into about fist size balls and roll them in fresh ground pepper. You want to make your balls nice and smooth and firm, push the pepper on as Sarah's doing. Watch that. So a cookie pan, a dry rack, and a bamboo mat. Here is our small batch of bel granol. Usually we make a batch that is about eight gallons, which makes a lot more. As you can see here, this is about four batches of bel granol. Now, as you can see, we have spread the balls out so that there is lots of air circulation and you want to make sure that you turn your bel granols twice a day. Okay. So you're going to turn them to the side tonight um, and then tomorrow, maybe turn it upside down like that so that the balls stay circular. The temperature of the room is approximately 17 degrees Celsius and you could also put a fan in the room to keep the air circulating. If there's any mold that appears on your Belpernol, make sure that you scrape it off and re-rub some pepper on it. You're going to keep it here for about two weeks, maybe three. Eventually want your Belpernol nice and firm like this. So that is how you make Belpernol cheese, the belt ball. That is like a gold nugget and it's so healthy for you. Once it is cured, you can store it in the fridge for many months. And if you want it to last even longer, you can take your cured bel granol, put it in a vacuum seal bag, vacuum seal it, and keep it in your cheese cave for quite a few years. Just watch, if it gets any mold on it, make sure that you use it up and enjoy. Cheese!
see we can so whoops um, that wasn't really supposed to happen it still needs to cure a little bit more but that is what it looks like inside after about three weeks but yeah it's good <laughs>